Another day, another Ticketmaster complaint. You go out, you yell at them, you complain, you say, I need my money back, why can't I get a refund? I want a refund with my money. I've been waiting and patiently, it's so annoying. Arrgh! No, but today we're gonna solve it. We're gonna talk about five reasons why you can't get a refund from Ticketmaster. Let's dive into it. What's up, guys? My name is Shraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, like I mentioned, we're talking all about Ticketmaster refunds, the five reasons why you cannot possibly get that refund back, and we are gonna address them all to make sure that you get your money back immediately. Because the faster you get your money back in your pockets, the faster you can go ahead and have some more fun. Let's begin. Number one, the main reason why you cannot possibly get that refund back from Ticketmaster is because you bought your tickets from a secondary marketplace. You did not buy it from the box office, you did not buy it direct from Ticketmaster, whoever the primary marketplace was, you did not buy your tickets from there, you actually bought them from somewhere else. Yes, you may see the tickets sitting in your Ticketmaster account, you may say, yes, I have spent a lot of money to buy these tickets, but unfortunately, you may not have purchased them directly from Ticketmaster themselves. And that, my friends, is the first main problem. When you're trying to request a refund, you may have gotten an email from Ticketmaster saying, hey, the event has been postponed, it's been rescheduled, go ahead into your Ticketmaster account to go ahead and request that refund. You think, oh, fantastic, wonderful, excellent, I can go ahead, just mosey on over there, click a few buttons, click, click, click. Unfortunately, it does not work that way. No, 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 don't be so silly. It doesn't work that way because you actually have to be the person who made the original purchase of those tickets. The tickets, while they're sitting in your account, you were not the one who originally purchased them, you bought them from somewhere else. You bought them from StubHub, Vivid Seats, TickPick, SeatGeek, one of the other many different places you can go ahead and buy tickets from. And unfortunately, you were not the original owner. Therefore, you cannot go ahead and actually request that refund. If you go into your account and try and request a refund for tickets that you bought from somewhere else that were eventually transferred to you, unfortunately, when you go in, it might actually show you a refund value of $0 or it might get an error or you just won't be able to see it at all. Because like I said, you didn't buy the tickets directly from the box office, directly from the primary market. You didn't buy the original, original set of tickets tickets. But what you can do is try and go ahead and reach out to the various secondary markets where you buy your tickets from, see if they're offering any refunds. But what I would like to point out is that if an event has just been postponed, unfortunately, the chance of you getting a refund is 0.000000%. From resale marketplaces, all sales are final, so unfortunately, if the event has only been postponed or rescheduled, those tickets will still remain valid for the newly rescheduled date, if and when it is announced. Uh, so unfortunately, you will not be able to get a refund on those tickets. So if you didn't buy your tickets directly from Ticketmaster or from the primary marketplace, unfortunately, you will not be able to get a refund. All right, number two, the next reason why you cannot possibly get a refund from Ticketmaster is because you actually have your tickets listed or have sold them already through Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster Plus, or one of the Ticketmaster directly integrated partners. This includes StubHub, SeatGeek, other places, anywhere where we have barcode integrated events. If you've sold these tickets already or you have them listed even, you unfortunately will not be eligible to go ahead and get that refund. If you try and go ahead, you will either get an error, and even if it lets you go through the entire process of hitting the big button to say, yes, I want a refund, once they review the request, they're gonna say, hey, these tickets are available for sale. Unfortunately, we are not gonna be issuing you a refund because we don't wanna be giving you a refund when we know that these tickets might actually end up getting sold. Someone might end up buying them, paying some money. Then we gotta deal with all the other hassle of trying to then repay them back and repaying you back and repaying everybody. It's no. Therefore, if you tried to sell your tickets or if you've already sold your tickets and they can see it that it's been sold, they're not going to allow it to happen. No refund for you. So if you want to get that refund back, you got to make sure you do the following. One, you got to make sure you get those tickets delisted. You do not want them listed. You do not want them to be able to be bought or sold while you are trying to get that refund request because one, Ticketmaster is going to say, hey, these tickets are listed for sale. Therefore, we cannot give you a refund. You're still trying to sell them. So no, they're going to deny you. And then two, you don't want to be in the position of even if you have them listed and Ticketmaster doesn't notice it, you don't want to be in the position of having those tickets eventually getting sold after the fact when you've already requested that refund and got your money back. Then you're gonna be in the funny position of having gotten your money back for the tickets, but then you'll have also sold the tickets, so you'll have to fulfill that order somehow, and you might be stuck trying to find tickets to fulfill that order, and then you're gonna have to pay a penalty, and then your credit card's gonna get a huge bill, it's gonna be a problem, you're gonna go crazy. No, 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 we don't want that, we don't want any stress, just, just unlist them, unlist. Now, unfortunately, if you've already sold the tickets, a couple of things. One, if you sold the tickets directly through a Ticketmaster you know, integrated partner, whether it's Ticketmaster Plus or through barcode integration with StubHub or others, unfortunately, you will not be able to go ahead and request that refund. But again, you will still be able to get paid once you do deliver those tickets to that secondary market. So again, not the end of the world. You'll still get your money, but it is tied up, unfortunately. 
Okay, number three, and third reason why you aren't able to get a refund is because you've transferred your tickets to someone else. So what happens here, you bought a bunch of tickets for you and your friends to go see your favorite artist in a few months. You end up transferring tickets to everybody so they can all have them in their phones. Everyone's all excited. They got their tickets in their hands. Everyone's all happy. And now we see the situation we're in. You want to get your money back, but unfortunately every individual, like I said before, the tickets didn't belong to those people. They have to come back to the original owner. The original owner is the only one who can actually go ahead and request that refund. So tickets need to come back to the original owner. Buyer. Who's the original buyer? You. You are the original buyer. Therefore, all the tickets need to be transferred back to you. You are the only one who can request the refund. Therefore, everyone needs to transfer the tickets back to you. You are the most important person. Therefore, you need to be on top of everybody to make sure those tickets come back. If the individuals who have those tickets in their accounts are trying to request them, they'll get the same issue as before. The refund value will be $0. They'll start crying. They'll start complaining. They'll say, hey, where's my money? I want my money back. How do I get my money back? All you got to do is just reach out to everybody and say, hey, you want your money back? Here's what you got to do. You got to send me your tickets back to me. And if they say, how, how can I possibly get those tickets back to you? You sent them to me. They're in my account. I don't know what to do. It's not possible. All you gotta do is click over here, send them to this video. If you click this link up here, you will see a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to go ahead and actually transfer those tickets. Even if they screw it up, there's still a way to cancel it and try again. So again, it is essentially foolproof. Just send them up there. They'll go ahead, follow the steps, get the tickets sent back to you. You go ahead, make the request, get your refunds back, send the money back to everybody else. Everyone is happy. You are the hero. You are the champion. You are the savior of life. And everything is fantastic. Now, once they've transferred those tickets, be sure to let them know to hit the like button down below. It helps out a lot. Okay, we're flying along here. Number four, the number four reason why you are not able to get that refund from Ticketmaster is because you missed the window. You missed the deadline, you missed the timings. You got to know when you can actually go ahead and request that ticket refund and when the deadline ends. If you miss the window, you don't get that refund. Nobody gets their money back. Everyone is angry, furious, frustrated. It is just the end of the world. Don't want that to happen. So. Let's do a quick refresher, shall we? Let's discuss. There are events that are postponed with no rescheduled date and events that are postponed with a rescheduled date. Very simple. When the rescheduled date is announced, you have 30 days to make the request to get the refund. If you don't make the request in 30 days, you keep your tickets, they keep your money, and life goes on. Now, if you wanna make a request, you gotta do it within those 30 days. If you miss that 30 day window, unfortunately, there is no other option for you except to hold on to those tickets. So, do not miss that deadline. Now. Other side, if you have an event that has been postponed but not yet rescheduled, then a new clock starts. When it's not been rescheduled, it basically means they have 60 days to announce a new rescheduled date. If they do not announce a newly rescheduled date within that 60 day time frame, then only then at the end of those 60 days will a 30 day refund request window open up for you. Again, you have to wait 60 days before you can go ahead and start the 30 day window to request that refund. And just to make things just a bit more confusing, if an event has been postponed with no rescheduled date, and within those 60 days, they announce that there is a new rescheduled date, the 30 day window will begin as soon as they announce when that rescheduled date begins. Again, if there is an event that has been postponed and not rescheduled, but then it is rescheduled within that 60 day window, the 30 day window to request that refund starts as soon as they announce that date. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Super simple, right? If you're confused, let me know in the comments below. I will get back to you. It is not as complicated as it sounds. I think I might just be using too many words. One thing I want to note here, again, with these 30-day windows, you do not want to miss them. You do not want to be late. Therefore, if you're someone who has transferred out tickets to other friends and family and friends and family and other people and whoever, you got to make sure you get those tickets back. You got to get them into your account because only you can make that request. Therefore, tickets need to come back into your account in time. If you tell them that the deadline is X date, you might actually want to give them a few days earlier just to make sure they don't miss it. But again, if you, you know, warn them saying, hey, you're not getting your money back, you don't give me your tickets in time, generally speaking, it should, it should, you know, speed up the process. Just, just a little bit. Now, number five, what is the last reason you can't possibly get that refund from Ticketmaster? It's because the event just hasn't been postponed or canceled. I mean, if it hasn't been postponed, there's no way for you to go ahead and make that request because unfortunately, there's just nothing you can do about it. It's all on the event promoter, the event organizer, Ticketmaster, whoever's putting the event on, they are the ones who make the final decisions. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna find out that there's gonna be events that are happening in the summer, something that happening in the fall, happening in the winter. You know, you know it's not gonna happen. I know it, you know it, they know it, everybody knows it. But until they make that official request saying, hey, the event has been officially postponed, there is no refund request window opened up. So. What do you got to do? You just got to pay attention. You got to stay patient. You got to wait. You just got to wait. You just got to wait. Wait some more. Wait a little bit more. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit more. And then after all that waiting, then you'll say a little bit more. 
And then once they announce it, then you can go ahead and actually start making those requests. A lot of event organizers, what they're probably trying to do is waiting, hoping and seeing, see if they can actually get that event to go on. Really, really, really hoping it's gonna happen. But unfortunately we know, you know, I know, we all know that they're not happening. Not anytime soon at least. So unfortunately you're just stuck waiting for them to announce the official postponement date. Then and only then are you able to actually go ahead and make that request. So until that time comes, you just gotta be patient. You just gotta wait. You can go ahead, take a look on your account, see if it's been updated yet. Go ahead and take a look on Twitter, Ticketmaster, social media, anywhere. Just look everywhere. Look and just wait and see, try and get all the information you possibly can. But unfortunately, just waiting. So just keep looking, keep checking, keep trying to find out when that information is gonna come out. Because once it comes out, that's when you're gonna be able to go ahead and make that request. Until then, though, no refunds for you, no refunds for anybody else. You just gotta wait, just gotta be patient, just gotta hold on and hope for your life that it's gonna come soon. Now, if you aren't sure if an event has actually been postponed yet and just want someone to take a look for you, get a second set of eyes on it, just leave me a comment below. I'll go ahead, take a look, see if I can find anything out on it. If you need some help, just go ahead, reach out. I'll be able to take a look for you and get you the information you need. Now that you know all the reasons why you can't get a refund, let's talk about all the things you need to do so you can get a refund. Very simply, just go ahead, click up over here. I got another video for you. It's already all done, it's all laid out. It goes through step-by-step -step process on how to actually go through the refund requesting process. Very, very easy, very simple. Again. Foolproof. A child could do it. I'm sure a child has done it. And if they haven't, you should try and get them to do it so that I can say they have. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe because I love having you guys join me for all these different videos. And lastly, see you guys next time.